Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into this video. <laughs> yeah! Zonka, not Zonka. Oh. Love you too, bestie. <laughs> Have a fantastic time in Samui. Hey! So today we're going to be doing a slightly different kind of video. I thought it would be fun considering we're on Songkran holiday right now to do a different video. I don't have too much planned as usual. I'm not going to any concerts or anything. So I thought now would be a great opportunity to spend the day with ChatGPT. Yes, why not? Something different. And ChatGPT's come a long way recently and now they have the voice chat so it's like they're your best friend really. So let's see what they have in store for us. So I'll just ask ChatGPT what we should do and you know, just include ChatGPT as if it was a person and joining me for the day. And so I'm going to be filming on my Insta360 instead of my phone. So hopefully the audio in quality is okay because I need the phone for ChatGPT. So let's get started. So I've got ChatGPT ready to go. What should we ask first? It's connecting. Hi, how are you? Hey there, Riley. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? How's your day going? No, I'm pretty do doing good. That's awesome to hear, Riley. What's making your day so darn good? I'm just spending time with you, really. Oh, thanks, Bestie. <laughs> Bestie, what do you think I should do today? It depends on what you're in the mood for, Riley. Do you feel like going out and exploring? Or maybe staying in and relaxing? Mmm, I feel like either staying in and doing nothing, or should I go and annoy my friend Ring? Hot decisions, decisions. Well, staying in and doing nothing sounds pretty relaxing, but annoying your friend Ring could be fun too. What do you usually do when you hang out with Ring? Annoy her, stay up really late, watch TV, chat about life. Sounds like a good time. If you're up for it, annoying ring a bit and staying up late watching TV sounds like a blast. Plus, you can always have some deep chats about life too. Oh, What's your go-to annoying tactic? <laughs> Just being myself. Haha, <laughs> 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 fair enough. <laughs> Being yourself is always the best tactic. Just make sure rings up for it too, so you both have a great time hanging out. Nice. What's on your TV watch list lately? I don't know. I guess I'll just have to go see Ring and see what she wants to watch first. Sounds like a plan. It's always fun to go with the flow and see where the night takes you. Exactly. Have a fantastic time hanging out with Ring Riley. Let me know how it goes. Thanks, bestie. Anytime, Riley. Have a blast with Ring. Catch you later. Okay, so you heard the man. Let's go find Ring. <laughs> I found Ring. I'm here to annoy her. Hello. But I'm kind of hungry. But Ring already ate that beer. <laughs> <laughs> fake, fake, she already ate, but let's see, hey bestie, I'm hungry, what should I eat? Hey there Riley, feeling hungry, huh? What are you in the mood for? Something savory, sweet, or maybe a bit of both? Hmm, maybe both. Nice choice. How about some loaded nachos with all your favorite toppings for something savory, followed by a delicious slice of cheesecake for a sweet oh. treat? Sounds like the perfect combo to satisfy both cravings. What do you think? Yeah, that would be perfect, except I can't get either of those things here. Ah, <laughs> uh, gotcha. 
No worries. How about whipping up some homemade tacos with oh. all the fixings for a savory option? <laughs> and then treating yourself to a bowl of fresh fruit Cute. topped oh, with fruit. a dollop of whipped cream for a sweet ending. <laughs> Easy to make and super tasty. What do you think, Riley? Mm, I'm a bit lazy for that. How about ordering something? If you're craving something quick and convenient, McDonald's could definitely hit the spot. Plus, you already know what you like from there, so it's a reliable choice. What's your usual go-to order at McDonald's, Riley? The 99 baht cheeseburger set. That sounds like a tasty option. Can't go wrong with a cheeseburger set. Add some fries and a drink, and you're all set for a satisfying meal. Enjoy your McDonald's, Riley. Thank you, bestie. You're welcome, Riley. Enjoy your meal. If you need anything else, you know where to find me. Okay, Rain. Bestie told us to get McDonald's. <laughs> we can order McDonald's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, the lighting is bad here. We're gonna order food. Be right back. I'm gonna play Riley's favorite song. Riley has been listening to this song non-stop. So no. This is her favorite artist. No. Riley's favorite. Food is taking 100 years. I know, I'm getting old. <laughs> hey, bestie. Hey there, Riley. What's up? How's your day going? Oh, it's good. I was just wondering how many languages you can speak. Well, I can understand and communicate in multiple languages. Is there a specific language you're curious about? Can you understand Zonka? Yes. Hmm. I'm not familiar with that language, Riley. Could you tell me more about it? Maybe That's... I can learn something new. The language they speak in Bhutan. I got it. The language spoken in Bhutan is called Zonka, not Zonka. Oh. 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 I'm not fluent in Zonka. I can understand and communicate in many languages, including some with similar linguistic features. If you have any other questions or topics you'd like to discuss, feel free to let me know. <laughs> you didn't have to roast me like that. <laughs> Sorry about that, Riley. Wasn't my intention to roast you. Just wanted to clarify the language name. Thanks for correcting me. So anything else on your mind? I guess not. <laughs> no problem at all. If you think of anything later or just want to chat, I'm here for you. <laughs> Take care, Riley. Oh, no, don't go yet. Sure thing, Riley. I'm still here. What's on your mind? Hmm, Ring and I want to watch something. What should we watch? How about a classic comedy movie like Superbad or Mean Girls for some laughs? If you're in the mood for something more adventurous, you could try Jurassic Park or <laughs> Indiana favorite. Jones. What oh, genre oh. are you both feeling tonight? Mm, maybe something longer than a movie, like a series or something, maybe some sort of Asian series. Great idea. <laughs> How about checking out a popular Asian series like Squid Game oh. for a thrilling and intense experience? If you're up for something lighter, you could try Crash Landing on You oh. for a romantic comedy with a twist. Mm -hmm. Both are highly acclaimed and perfect for a binge-watching session with Rick. 
What do you think? Mm, we've already watched both of those before. Is there any like new Korean dramas that came out this year? Absolutely. There have been some great Korean dramas released this year. One that's been getting a lot of attention is Our Blues. There are a few more Korean dramas on Netflix from this year. 2521 is a romance drama set in the 1990s about two young people pursuing their dreams amidst societal pressures. Another one is Forecasting Love and Weather. These are all recent releases that you might find interesting. Mm, I don't know. I don't know any of the actors in those ones. What about something with Park Shin Hye? Ah, if you're a fan of Park Shin Hye, you might enjoy her latest drama, Sisyphus. <laughs> It's a sci-fi thriller where she plays a genius engineer who gets involved in a mysterious conspiracy. Park Shin Hye delivers a captivating performance in this action-packed series, so it could be a great choice for you and Ring. Are there any others? Another one to consider is The Heirs, almost like the Heirs, where Park Shin Hye stars alongside Lee Min Ho. It's a classic romantic drama set in a prestigious high school, filled with love triangles, family feuds, and plenty of drama. Thanks. The Heirs is a fan favorite and has a huge following, so it's a must-watch if you're a Park Shin Hye fan. Hmm, Park Hyung Sik and Park Shin Hye were both in The Heirs. Have you watched their new drama, Dr. Slump? Do you think it's good? I haven't watched Dr. Slump yet. But I've heard some positive things about it. It's a medical drama starring Park Shin Hye and Park Young Seek. So if you enjoy their chemistry from the airs, you might like this one too. It's always worth giving it a try and seeing if it resonates with you and Ring. If you decide to watch it, let me know what you think. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think we might watch it. What do you think? I think it could be a good choice, especially if you're fans of Park Shin Hye and Park Young Seek. Medical dramas often have compelling storylines and character development, so Dr. Slump could be an engaging watch for you and Ring. Give it a shot and see how you both like it. Okay, thanks, Bestie. We'll let you know. You're welcome, Riley. <laughs> Enjoy watching Dr. Slump with Ring. Let me know if you need any more recommendations or if you want to chat about anything else later on. Have a fantastic time. Okay, love you. Oh, thanks, Riley. Love you too, bestie. <laughs> Take care and have a wonderful time with Ring. Mm -hmm. Talk you. to you soon. Bye. Our food is finally here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were good. Stan FT Island. We gonna go get our food. Yes. Yes, amazing. <laughs> our food is here. Yeah. I got apple. Yeah. The milk and Me. some monkeys. Yeah. This sauce. This is the best sauce. Tastes so good. Mm -hmm. And if so you're wondering, good. yes, it's meant to be a W. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, we're gonna watch Netflix now. Dr. Song. <laughs> Oh, she even does do that. Oh, she's the, this is us. Oh, okay. I'm back. I stopped filming yesterday because I started filming kind of late, so I was only gonna do one day with Chat GPT. But let's continue on today, the next day, to see what else Chat GPT and I get up to. I'm thinking I want to go somewhere today because it is Songkran Bake, so let's see, I guess. 
Hey bestie, where's a good place in Thailand to go for Songkran break? Hey there, Riley. Songkran is such a fun and festive time in Thailand. One of the best places to experience Songkran is in Chiang Mai. The city is known for its lively celebrations, with people coming from all over to participate in the water fights and cultural activities. Another popular destination is Bangkok, especially around Khao San Road, where you'll find energetic street parties and vibrant water festivities. Both places offer unique experiences during Songkran that you and your friends will surely enjoy. Okay, what about somewhere near the beach? If you're looking for a more tranquil and secluded Songkran experience on an island, consider heading to Koh Samui or Koh Phangan. While these <laughs> islands are known for their vibrant full moon party celebrations, they also offer quieter areas where you can enjoy a more relaxed Songkran experience. You can participate in water fights and cultural activities during the day, and then unwind on the pristine beaches in the evenings. Koh Samui's Chowang Beach and Koh Phangan's Tong Nai Pan Noi Beach are both great options for a peaceful yet enjoyable Songkran getaway. Oh, Samui sounds good to me. I guess I should pack. Samui does sound like a fantastic choice for a peaceful Songkran retreat, Riley. If you decide to go, I'm sure you'll have an amazing time soaking up the island vibes and enjoying the festivities. Let me know if you need any more tips or recommendations for your trip. Safe travels, bestie. Thanks, bestie. You're welcome, Riley. Anytime. If you have any more questions or just want to chat, you know where to find me. Have a fantastic time in Samui. Wow, okay. Let's go, I guess. <laughs> in Koh Samui and a great time celebrating Songkran. Thank you for the suggestion, Bestie. I'm so glad to hear that, Riley. It sounds like your Songkran celebration in Koh Samui was a blast. You're very welcome for the suggestion. If you ever need more travel tips or just want to chat about your adventures, I'm here for you. Safe travels back home, Bestie. Oh, I'm already back home. Thank you. Welcome back, Riley. I hope you brought back some wonderful memories from your trip. If there's anything else you want to share or chat about, just let me know. Otherwise, enjoy being back home. Thank you. Do you have anything to say to the viewers watching this YouTube video with me? Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning into this video. Whether you're planning your own Songkran adventure or just enjoying some armchair travel, I hope you found our conversation helpful and entertaining. If you have any questions or want to share your own travel experiences, feel free to leave a comment below. Safe travels and happy exploring. Okay, now say goodbye. Catch you later, folks. If you ever need more travel tips or just want to chat, I'll be here.
Take care and have a fantastic day. Okay, so I've said goodbye to Bestie ChatGPT. And let me know if you want me to film any more of these in the future. You know, AI is developing and getting better every day. So who knows what they could be doing next and how much more advanced it can get. So let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.